Meghan Markle broke cover on Friday to check out her local farmer's market, days after her explosive Netflix docuseries with Prince Harry failed to score any Emmy nominations. The Duchess of Sussex was spotted stopping by the Montecito Farmer's Market near the couple's $14.7 million mansion, but went without her husband, exclusive DailyMail.com photos show. The 41-year-old was instead accompanied by her security detail and one of her beloved pet beagles, despite the market's rule prohibiting dogs. The two kids did not appear this time. Raw fans also find it strange why Meghan didn't let her children come along. There's been a rumor lately that Oprah completely distanced herself from the Sussexes after she learned the whole secret behind the lies. She never met the children despite her efforts even the Sussex couple banned her from seeing their kids during her latest visit. The 14 million mansion is not owned by Meghan and Harry. For Winfrey, who was in charge of the famous Meghan and Harry interview after the couple decided to leave the royal family and move to America, is now at loggerheads with the Sussexes. She was reportedly banned by the Sussexes from seeing their kids during her latest visit to their Montecito mansion. Oprah was very angry at this and revealed she is more convinced that there may be no Archie and Lilibet. Funny, right? Yes, but who would have thought Meghan would fall out with Oprah Winfrey? Oprah has been like a guardian to the Sussexes since their move from Britain to the United States. Harry and Meghan even chose their house in Montecito to be close to Oprah Winfrey. Oprah is not happy with the Sussexes, she wants them to come out playing with their kids and stop all the controversy going on online. I don't know why Meghan and Harry will not just stop all rumors about their kids to keep this story circulating, and this would definitely hurt their kids someday, Oprah said. It's not a friend after all but a business connection of mutual exploitation. Sussex mouthpiece, Oprah, has appeared to have references to Harry and Meghan's scrubs from social media. There's something odd going on with Oprah's social media accounts. Markham News 1 on Instagram has reposted a deleted tweet from Kat Dwyer Stevenson, which says that she no longer has references, save for mentions of them. You can't see Harry and Meghan on their Twitter feeds, so it appears they've both been scrubbed. Weird things were happening with Meghan during her pregnancy with Archie. If both Arch and Lily were born via surrogate, they wouldn't be eligible for the line of succession, however. We wouldn't put it past the Sussexes to hide a fact like this. After all, they did lie about what time Archie was born when he came into the world in 2019. Did you see the bump jiggle back and forth in the picture of them wearing the black and white dress? It moved all over the place. A pregnant belly doesn't move. I know, I had two of them, and they are very firm, and stay put, but grow bigger each month. That inadvertently confirmed there are no children born to Meg. Meg had an hysterectomy when she was 28, so there is no way she has had a pregnancy with Harry. Sam her sister adopted and cared for Meg daughter with Joe is now 22 and her name is Noelle. It will all come out in October when Sam goes to court. No kids they use dolls there is no or int and they should not go to Carnation Megan would ruin the Carnation if they were there Megan already said she would ruin the Carnation as she was there until as his way to 470 years to be king it should not be it shouldn't be a mean thing. Should be a nice thing and no bad stuff going on as Megan's her to definitely be bad stuff going on she has no kids I don't know why she keeps saying she does. By the time the announcement came out that Markle had gone into labor, the child was already born, but there was a rumor going around that when the Oprah interview was filmed, some of Oprah's production team found a moon bump. So it was brought to the attention of Winfrey, who then confronted Megan about it, but Markle refused to comment.